brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the cabin. I don't know why we get Jill to say that every morning. Lecter's never here first. Wheeler and Ollie, mornings at the cabin on your Friday morning. It is pretty warm outside, actually. A little blustery, but uh, not too bad looking for the weekend. Do you want your mic up? Love that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm just so used to only putting lectures up. You seen the forecast for next week? Uh, I have not. Plus 10. Ew. Ew. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that. March plus 10. Like, we still have a, we still have a snow castle and we still have a oh, long John Jamboree. How are we going to keep the ice sculptures up this year, Ollie? Well, I have family that want to come over May long to see the ice sculptures. Well, then we probably should stop taking a sledgehammer to them. Uh, but no. No. Okay. No. Uh, I, I actually, love that. I have a very funny video idea for that this year. Remind me. Oh, uh, with us we're, just tackling them? We're going we're gonna to have... Blow torches. No, I don't, don't, no, no, uh. don't give anything away. I've got a kind of plan. Anyway, yeah, next week is going to be crazy warm for this That's time crazy. of year. That's In nuts. a lot of places. It's like pluses through, like, it goes down to like minus three at night. And it's like wow. plus seven, eight, nine during That's Edmonton day. winters. Yeah. Yeah. So, flamethrowers? Is that what we're talking about here? You know you can get flamethrowers from from Elon Musk's company, right? Can, can you? Yeah. I thought they were called Teslas. <laughs> it remains to be seen whether those things will burst into flame, I suppose. But yes, you can get like an $800 flamethrower. That's an odd line of work to be in electric vehicles and flamethrowers. Yeah. Well, I don't... I mean, ooh, I, I, I suppose you could put them on there. I don't know where the fuel would come from. But like something out of Mad Max. Yeah. 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 Very right. Electric like, vehicles. Well, we've fuel run out of, efficient. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect for the Mad Max environment. Well, there's not really much gas. so Just we need can... a solar power charger. <laughs> yeah. But Elon Musk will rule the world of the Thunderdome. It's what he wants. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Mornings at the Cabin, Wheeler and Ollie. With you, I was about to say Lecter, but Lecter's taking the morning off. I forgot about that but when I um, derided him in the first break. Um, to be just, fair, we we deride him when he's here. That's right. That's right. Not it's, as much though. He's he's a, he's a super sweet guy. He's a nice guy. It makes <laughs> it very difficult to be mean to him on a morning show. Well, but we yeah. find a way. Yeah. Well, you will always find a way. Oh, yeah. um, we did the Bake Off yesterday, and it went very, very well. Big thanks to uh, to uh, uh, Sir John for letting us do that, Skills Canada for helping out, uh, and basically just letting us do whatever we want to show off what they can provide. Uh, they can provide opportunities for kids to do. Uh, we love it. Yeah, we absolutely love it. We love them. Like it's such a yeah. cool thing. It's such a cool thing. We got to go and try like the kind of baking stuff that you would do, baking and yeah. cooking that you would do if you were in a Skills Canada competition. Yes. And I got to be honest with you, when we had the recipe and what we were making yeah. put out in front of us, I kind of felt relieved. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this will be, be easy. Yeah, I feel like I could achieve this one. Yeah. I was imagining having to like bake some kind of special cake or something that I'd never like. And I was like, oh, okay, I could do this. Yeah. And then I started doing it. Nope. I was like, no, I can't. I immediately did it wrong. Like, I, I was just <laughs> like, I'll just grab all these ingredients, put them in a bowl. And then I looked at it, it was like, <laughs> combine them this way, and then this way, and then this way. And I was like, oh, I'm already already wrong. And Allie was like, well, you could just start over. I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. It would be a waste. Meanwhile, across across the other side of the table, I was following the instructions meticulously. That's right. And it was awful. It, it was, was pretty turning good. Out, it was just turning out. No, but it, like, you, you didn't see the first few minutes. You were in your own little fresh hell over there, like, not following the instructions. I, I don't know what I did, yeah. but but my my dough, when I came to try and roll it out, uh, we were making pizza pinwheels, by the yes, way. You get right. to see the video from this. We're making pizza pinwheels. Um, I started rolling out the dough for it, and it was like gravel. I'm like, why, <laughs> why is this happening? So I had to pick it all up again, put it back in the mixing bowl, yeah. add a bunch more milk to it. And, and, and meanwhile, you're there like going and getting your ingredients to put on the top, and I'm yeah. still like, Mixing this, like desperately trying to roll out this paste that's mine, supposed to be a dough. Mine just, yeah, mine was too sticky. Like the doughs, both doughs turned out all right in the end somehow. Yeah. Um, but mine was mine was too sticky, so it didn't. Um, and mine mine kind of exploded a little bit because I put too much in them. But hey, I think it's best to <laughs> overfill these things. Well, yeah, uh, we we I feel like we yeah we both had our ups and downs in in that contest. I do have to say my favorite moment was when we got to the end and and you said. Oh, uh, should we have preheated the oven? <laughs> no, not that we should have. I know we should have. Uh, I just forgot to. Uh, so, 
Uh, mine went in about 20 minutes after yours, and uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. And we had some of the kids that were in the class do a blind taste test, and we won't give away the ending. You will see that in the video a little later on. Uh, but uh, yes, awesome. We love we love doing stuff with Skills Canada with the kids there, and um, and we look forward to our next challenge. Something uh, mechanical. We're something thinking. mechanical. Yes, uh, they're thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking small engine repair or something like that. It's going to be something like that. that. I'll tell you right now that that is going to be a gong show. I am not the person you want with you if the vehicle breaks down in the middle of the highway in the middle of nowhere and Nor you need I. to get under the hood. Nor I. Not but at all. My my family's, particularly my dad's side of the family. My dad's solution to anything like that: hammer. No, the phone. Call yeah. someone who knows. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why those jobs exist, <laughs> because we all don't know that. So so I got no grounding in anything like DIY or mechanical as a yeah. kid, because my dad would just be like, oh, well, that's broken. Nice. Find the guy who can fix it. Get some duct tape. Yeah. Put it back together again. So, so yeah, I, I, I look forward to that. I feel like I'm not going to come out of that challenge well, but I might actually learn something. Yes. Right? Be nice. That's what this is all about, learning something, and also just showing how inept we are at things that's like... Uh, um, Basic like cooking. Chef said yeah, yesterday, that we are just doing what a, a, a grade eight would do, only worse. Yeah, he was Chef Travis was a little brutal. He came yeah. he came over to me. He he looked at how my how my pinwheels were doing in the oven. He said, "Yeah, I'd give you a, a generous seven out of ten. Yeah, and I said seven out of ten. That's great. And he said, "Well, you know, I'm a teacher. I I have to look out for your <laughs> self esteem." Like, and then he came over to mine. And he said, "Same score, seven out of ten, but that's you being terrible." And he didn't care about my self esteem, so. I feel like my 7 out of 10 is better than your 7 out of 10. I thought you would. <laughs> the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Mornings at the Cabin. You all are a bunch of dirty, dirty, dirty people. Have you scrolled to the bottom? I yet? haven't scrolled through all of them yet. I wanted to look at a cu- couple of them while we were here but, on the air. But did you scroll to the bottom? Like I've got, I've got, I've got, like I've, I got a glottal stop looking. Okay. Uh, we're looking, everyone, at yes. the front page of the Cabin Radio website. That's right. There is a photo gallery entitled Outhouse Outrage. Aye. So, you know, we've gone through this a few times now. There's a whole bunch of news about the state of the highway outhouses here. Yep. Uh, we sent a reporter. This is Sarah, who... Come on, don't gag. I'm start. Ugh. We sent Sarah... Uh, well, Sarah volunteered. That makes Good, me sound terrible. Say, that does make you sound funny. This <laughs> awful. Sa- Sarah, Sarah volunteered. volunteered. To, to go check out while I mean, she was obviously, driving from Smith to Yellowknife. We held the puppy hostage until she did it. Yeah, and you know. But she volunteered. She volunteered. <laughs> and uh, and she checked out a bunch of washrooms. Oh. I picked just four photos. Thank you, Sarah. Like, yeah. well done. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I've picked just four photos. Four of them. So the first one uh, is, is not that bad, right? That's first, not that bad. The first well, one, there's a little bit of like. It's not great. The way I put it is it looks like there's been a scuffle between the toilet paper <laughs> and a human being. <laughs> ah, yeah, get out of here. Yeah. So the second one yep. is like in a wooden, uh, you should be looking at one with yeah, a wooden. Yeah, I'm looking at the well, yeah, wooden yeah. one right now. Yep, and that's like, like again, traditional outhouse. Again, it's like, it's not great. And no. the toilet paper this time around is like really escalated. It's like an ongoing feud with whoever it's like, whoever's been oh, in there. But God. but it could be worse. Could be worse. So, 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 so down go down one more. Okay. Now yep. you, you see, can you at see? The, the, uh, at the Detroit Bridge. Yeah, that's yep. the one with the impact crater, I think, that yeah, you're looking at. Yeah, how what? How does that even? How does that happen? Now I work in a place that has a public washroom, so I know the vagaries of skill that come when it when it comes to public restroom usage. It 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 appears that people kind of dangle themselves above the toilet and just kind of swing back and forth in hopes that'll help loosen things up, and then just kind of let go, and that's what happens. Yeah, it's yeah. it's hard to imagine how you could miss so dramatically. Well, I imagine people like float because they don't want to. they they don't want to touch the seat, right? Well, Public washroom, but I the seat that, presumably kinda. prior prior to that one deposit on it, the seat was presumably clean. It looks clean, yeah. Apart from that one massive, great, big, really quite offensive. Anyway, uh, just go down to the last photo. I can't come on. All right. <laughs> oh God! Oh, 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 jeez! Oh I'm, my God! Oh, I'm sorry. Good Lord! This is at the Buffalo River Bridge at Highway Five. How would you describe oh, it? Oh, I, I wouldn't know. I have to go into my Bane voice because I have to cover up my ha- my mouth. I can't. I can't. I can't look. I 
can't look. Oh, this so, is happening. You uh, don't need it. Um, it is can best be described as a uh, the scene of a murder where people bled, not yeah. blood, but other things. My my favorite part Why? of this photo is is we've even failed at recycling in the top left hand corner. There's a water bottle there. Just it, it, just to complete like the 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 wretchedness. It kind of looks like someone camped out in it for a day. It mm, a little bit. Um, it looks not quite as bad as the one at the border when it was d- top full. This is bad. This is bad. If if you. We're animals. Eat We're breakfast animals. first, then look at this. Yeah, eat bre- You know what? Don't eat anything. And maybe take a look. I We're going to get messages, Ollie. We're going to get comments and messages. I put two written warnings in this news story to say, you scroll be, down. You know that's not going to be enough. Risk. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be enough. Someone's going to comment or message saying, you really should have warned us about that. How dare you put what? those up? I was eating my breakfast. What am I supposed to tell my kids about people doing natural things in an unnatural way? One of the warnings literally says, you can't say we didn't warn you. Yeah, but someone will figure out a way to do that. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, I th- I feel like we've illustrated. Yeah, I'd say it's about a 50-50 shot as to whether you get into a washroom in this territory and it's serviceable or not. And and if you're on the wrong side of that 50-50, you could be really on the wrongs. I mean, that last photo, that last photo is probably one I, you'll never forget, frankly. I just, uh, you know, I always say that, like, remove, remove the lines in a parking lot if you want to watch the, just the world fall apart. It seems to be the same for a public restroom in which no one can see you poop. And things are just going to go nuts. Things are going to go nuts. And that is the worst thing. Oh, God. I can't. Morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting ready. That's the end. Go check out the story if you must. Um, thank you to Sarah for doing that. Like, what a, what a trooper. What a freaking trooper, man. Like, to step in there and to stand long enough to get a nice, clear shot. Which is more than anyone else seems to have had in Sarah, that building. I am buying you a drink. Want the meat and potatoes of the morning show with none of the filler? You got it with the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. That's a strange breakfast, though. Penny has entered the studio and all work goes out the window. That's right. Penny, the station puppy, is in Ollie's arms right now. And it's just, it's it's ridiculous. I, I don't, like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm getting a Good little dog. emotional. Um a lot of ugliness in the world today, but this right now across from me is very, very nice, very, very lovely. And um, yeah, I mean, she's she's trying to leave. I know she's trying to leave, but she can't. 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 You've got her in your clutches. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, she's going. She's going. Bye, Benny. Oh, oh. Bye, baby. Bye, puppy. It well, is Oral Health Month. Is it this month or next month? Next month. Next month is Oral Health Month. So get your oral health in order, people. We are uh, Ollie. I mean, when we first started this, you admitted that you hadn't been to the dentist in quite some time. And 17 you, years. 17 years. And you were told by the dentist, if you keep going this way, we are going to need to take uh, skin from your bum to remake your gums, I think is what it was. Um, that's, you that's know what? A, that's a, actually not far off yeah, what they have Yeah, it's a gum, gum graft, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they didn't, I mean, ha- hang on. Hang on. Yes. The, so the teeth themselves were very clean. Yes. The issue was that the reason they were clean is you, that you, you just brush them too hard. Uh, yeah, I, I basically just take a machete to them each night, and it turns out that's yeah. not what you're supposed to do. No, you know, I just didn't know. It's supposed to be gentle. So, uh, But you just want it over with, so you just kind of like, you just go yeah, really hard. Like, just like, like, and then yeah. it's done, right? Yeah. yeah. 20, 20 seconds, just scrape the living daylight seconds. out of the things. Yes. And then you, you get to go. Uh, it turns out that's a bad idea. So uh, for Oral Health Month mm. next month, we are going to make a video with my dental hygienist. Well, who, uh, who is now you remember a swinger. Her. Because she's not one of those, oh. but she did have that very entertaining story. That's right, where she somehow appeared to end up dating a guy on the basis of texting someone to ask about accommodation, mm. and then replying, "Well, there's not really any room unless you're a hot woman." That's so so which she replied, "Well, it turns out I am," and they went on a date. Yeah, which how did that work out? Set back womankind by a million years, but appears to have been great for them. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so, so Sasha from uh, from uh, Birchwood. Yep. Uh, down click. Yep. She, she and I are going to team up. Very nice. And and produce our joint guide to oral health. Okay. Uh, with the help of my British teeth. 
Very nice. Very nice. You don't have the, the most British of teeth. Like, you wouldn't be in the big book of British, British smiles. smiles. But, um, yeah. Okay, well, good. That's great. Oral Health Month is a very important month. I mean, there are a lot of oral health issues here in the North. And um, as we know, uh, oral health uh, is tied very, mu- very uh, much to uh, the rest of your body. If you get an infection in your face, it's going to transfer your brain pretty quick. So maybe take care of that stuff. <laughs> it's true. It's true. How does that work? It just like creeps up. That's right. That's right. Back in the day, I'm talking like pyra- pyramid times. Um, <laughs> you could die from like an abscess or a cavity. If something got mm-hmm. infected in your face and they couldn't treat it, it's going to transfer. It's, it's becoming very uh, uh, something more systemic very quickly. I should say, if you have an abscess or a cavity in your face, don't wait to April. That's right. Like, don't oral, wait till April. It could be oral just health go. year for you. Yeah, that's right. Okay, for, for right. you guys, it's oral health, like, lifetime. Just yeah. go do it. That's right. For the rest of us, like, April is oral health month. Yeah. And we should encourage that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And Penny, go and get your teeth cleaned. I look, well, she's not going to need to do that. She's a baby. She's going to lose those teeth anyway. She can do whatever she wants. Also, she's chewing everything. She's chewing everything. Those teeth are in rude health. No, they're fine. She's perfect. The Cabin Radio app is out now. Get it on Android or iPhone and take the cabin wherever you go. Wheeler with you on your Friday morning. Snow King 24 is obviously way up and running, already having a ton of fun down there. And this weekend will be no different. I thought you were busy. I thought you were busy. Ollie just walked in to interrupt this completely this, this, this completely organic break. Hello. Hello. I completely did. unprofessional. You just snuck onto the radio without well, me. I just I figured you were busy. You're very what, busy. What There's an about? intern out there. There's a puppy. There's one of your, the, one of our reporters, Sarah's out there. But they're not as important as you. I I beg to differ. I never I feel normally You're differ. very disingenuous when you say things like that. Um, <laughs> but this weekend, uh, very, very cool stuff happening uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Rock the Arts, 2 o'clock uh, tomorrow. Meet the puppets as well. And, of course, Bloodshot Bill. A lot a lot of people are really looking forward to this uh, this uh, this show. Hey, we need to go and film uh, at the snow castle as well. When? Because you and I. Well, let's. Take, I don't know. What are you doing Sunday? I don't know. Resting. Uh, well, that's <laughs> no, not enough time for that. Only day I have off no. ever. No. I. Uh, we we have a race to film. Which race? Down the slide. Oh yes, that's at right. The snow castle. Very good. Yes, yeah. we will do that one of these days. <laughs> when- <laughs> When we all when raised we all ourselves out of our bed. A little bit of time off, maybe we will do that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, probably on Sunday we can do that. I, I And I, I'm a terrible local person. I've not been there yet. You know what? I, I've only been in the evening for the uh, for the Royal Ball. Yes. So I haven't seen it in the daytime. Yet. Okay. In the evening, it looked wonderful. I loved it. I haven't had a chance to really go see it in daytime. Uh, so we need to do that. I'm so a, Sunday morning, we're going to get up at like 7? No. No, I don't. Um, the weather next week give, gives me a little bit of uh, pause. I mean, plus ten. I mean, yeah. how 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 is that going to work? Uh, I, I'm assuming there's a contingency for this when it comes to snow castles. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. Come on down to the belt. It'll be great. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, I, it'll stay. It, I mean, they 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 pack those walls pretty dense. I'm they, sure they'll be fine. They're going to open like fridge freezers all yeah. around the outside of it, and right. then sort of. We just might just blow cold air at it. Ever, we might everyone well is just supposed go to swimming. Whistle. We'll just open up a hole in the lake and go swimming. Nice. Plus ten, whatever, right? Right, and the and the slide, the ice yeah. slide, will just like be into the pool. That's right. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be crazy. That'd be pretty. Uh, if climate change is going to give us anything, give us that. <laughs> you know, give us a slide into a, a semi-frozen lake. Is what I was. What yeah. I was let's just look on the bright side of all of this. You know? <laughs> if, <laughs> if if climate change is going to ruin everything we know and love and hold dear about the north. Let's at least have a slide into a pool. Yeah. Yeah. For goodness sake. Climate change. Only thinking about yourself. Nine o'clock tomorrow is the winter warmer with Ryan McCord and Blue Moon Marquee. And then Sunday, Miranda Curry, 1230. Our own Jim Taylor at one o'clock. Blue Moon Marquee again at two o'clock. Rock the Arts again at three. And you get the chance, another chance to meet the puppets at 345. And you never know. We might be down there if I get more than five hours sleep this weekend. Oh, I'm down there. You know, I don't know. I'm really tired. <laughs> Come on, you're almost there. That's right. Go check out the uh, the Snow Castle, the Snow King Winter Festival 24 this weekend. If you haven't been down there, it would be a great chance to do it because it's going to be super nice. Uh, unless it's like it is right now, which is kind of gray and snowing, but still warm. Like the podcast? Listen live 
Mornings at the cabin, 7 till 9 each weekday. Just finishing up uh, MATC for another week. Um, the 90s at 9 will start. And guess who's hosting? That's right, it's me. You get to continue with me until 10 o'clock. Don't turn it off. It's actually a pretty good show. It's a great, uh, lot of great tracks. MC Hammer opens up the show. Yeah, I put it there. And I, I, and I don't regret it. A um, lot of ugliness to wake up to this morning. Uh, if you've uh, seen the news, I don't think you can avoid it. What happened in Christchurch is abominable. Um, try to be as positive as possible today. Maybe if you have some sort of anti-immigration stance or some, something like that, maybe keep it to yourself today. And if you plan on, uh, if you find that live stream footage and you, you think, hey, maybe I should retweet this, kindly remove your head out of your ass and don't do that. That's right. Just keep it to yourself today. That's all. Keep it to yourself. Stay strong out there. Um, mornings at the cabin. Done for another week. Have a great weekend. It's going to be warm. Lots of stuff to do. Look forward to seeing you out there. If I get a chance to sleep. Have a good one.